mostly for actions and not for identity because I don't think there was this clear an idea that you could be you, you could look like any other soldier and not be doing anything sexual and still be considered a gay person so in other words that's interesting so back in World War II the gay identity so to speak mm -hmm. really did not it didn't really exist in in the imaginations of people for a lot of people it didn't there was the idea of the sissy or the the, the man who was a failed man in in gender terms but the idea that you could be and one of our two leads the the guy Stu falls in love with is an all-american guy who you can no one suspects would be gay because there just isn't that understanding that a a guy can have a, a girlfriend at home and can be living a double life so sexual orientation was not something that people really recognized or thought about. It was just the beginning, I think, in the in the broader culture of that understanding that there's such a thing as gay identity. I, I think your main character also ends up having a relationship, I don't know if it's a romantic mm -hmm. relationship, but a relationship with a man who works for Yank Magazine. Right? Exactly, a and reporter for Yank. Tell us about that character. Well, that character is interesting because I did a lot of research after reading Coming Out Under Fire of gay servicemen who wrote journals, who things that have been published only in the last 10 years of, of, of gay life during the war. And the character of Artie is actually the most reflective of that research because there were a lot of gay soldiers who had a lot of sex and had a whole um, set of underground networks about how they could find each other that, uh, that really just flourished during the war. And uh, so this character takes our lead under his wing and, and shows him all the, uh, all the slang and all the ways you pick up guys. And there's there's interesting moment that uh, in 2005, there's a, there's, a, there's a lyric where a guy talks about tapping his foot in the bathroom and getting another guy to tap his foot. And no one knew what that was. Wait, wait a second, wait a second. Tapping his foot in the bathroom. You're talking about that thing in Minnesota? Exactly. Well, I am now. So now, okay. now, it gets, now, now it gets a big laugh because everybody knows, gay and straight, that that's the code for picking up guys in a bathroom, and that, that was one of the way gay servicemen found each other. They also found each other by dressing in civilian clothes and going to the YMCA, and uh, that the YMCA's became a place for uh, gay soldiers to find each other. Uh, I've heard, yeah, I've heard the village people talk. <laughs> exactly. I know, I know that. Now, I mean, there's another aspect.